coming up on 5-Minute News. 300 arrested at protests demanding Navalny's release. US to reverse Trump's draconian immigration policies. And new UK COVID variant may be 30% more deadly. It's Sunday, January 24. I'm Anthony Davis. Russian police arrested more than 3,000 people on Saturday in nationwide protests demanding the release of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, the Kremlin's most prominent foe, according to a group that counts political detentions. The protests in scores of cities in temperatures as low as minus 50 highlighted how Navalny has built influence far beyond the political and cultural centres of Moscow and St. Petersburg. In Moscow, an estimated 15,000 demonstrators gathered in and around Pushkin Square in the city centre, where clashes with police broke out and demonstrators were roughly dragged off by helmeted riot officers to police buses and detention trucks. Later, some went to protest near the jail where Navalny is held. Police made an undetermined number of arrests there. The protests stretched across Russia's vast territory. Navalny and his anti-corruption campaign have built an extensive network of support despite official government repression and being routinely ignored by state media. Navalny was arrested on January 17 when he returned to Moscow from Germany where he'd spent five months recovering from a severe nerve agent poisoning that he blames on the Kremlin and which Russian authorities deny. Authorities say his stay in Germany violated terms of a suspended sentence in a 2014 criminal conviction while Navalny says the conviction was for made-up charges. The 44-year-old activist is well known nationally for his reports on the corruption that has flourished under President Vladimir Putin's government. The United States plans to reverse the Trump administration's draconian immigration approach while working on policies addressing the causes of migration, President Joe Biden told his Mexican counterpart, the White House said on Saturday. In a Friday call with Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, Biden outlined his plan to create new legal pathways for immigration and improve the process for people requesting asylum, according to an account of the call released by the White House. The two leaders agreed to work together toward reducing irregular migration. Mexico has a major role to play in Biden's plans for immigration reform. Earlier this month, Mexico helped coordinate efforts in Central America to contain a large caravan of migrants heading for the United States. Mexico's foreign ministry also said it had begun talks with Washington about a COVID-19-related order signed by Biden to establish firmer health protocols for people entering U.S. territory. Everything indicates relations will be good and for the benefit of our people and nations, López Obrador said. Meanwhile, Biden has made an early push for a bill that would open a path for citizenship for the roughly 11 million people living in the United States illegally, though even his allies in Congress acknowledge that may be an Herculean task. The new UK coronavirus variant may be 30% more deadly, Boris Johnson said on Friday as he warned of stricter travel curbs and continued lockdown measures while the infection rate remains forbiddingly high. In findings that dampened hopes of the increasingly prevalent B117 variant becoming less lethal over time, researchers on the government's new and emerging respiratory virus threats advisory group concluded that it may increase the death rate by 30 to 40 percent. Scientists urged tighter controls, and one said the news could take the country back to square one. It's also likely to increase the concerns of EU leaders who were already considering strengthening border measures against the British mutation. Addressing a Downing Street press conference on Friday, 
the Prime Minister struck an extremely cautious note when asked about the prospects of any imminent return to normal life, despite the rapid pace of the vaccine programme. The government's chief scientific adviser, Patrick Vallance, shared early evidence about the UK variant, explaining the scale of the difference. He said for every 1,060-year-olds infected with the new strain, perhaps 13 or 14 might be expected to die, compared with 10 in a 1,000 for the original strain. The variant is also believed to be 30 to 70% more transmissible. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news. Daily.